Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can build a business website using the S3 WordPress team. First thing we're going to do is get a quick start. So we're going to import the demo content from our documentation page for R Street. So just go here. And then go back to our website. Go to the back end. Tools. Import. Click on WordPress. And choose the file, choose and import the file we just downloaded. If you want, you can also import the images. So it says that it's all done. Now, next thing we need to do is create a, is set a static front page. In order to do that, we go to customize, click on static front page. These are, all the, these are all the pages that we've imported. And we want to select home page. And for the blog posts, we want to select blog. Okay. So, we have an empty page because we have no home page content at the moment. Now, in order to create some content, we're going to go again to customize. Widgets. We see our uh, home page here. And we want to start setting sections. First section we're going to add will be the services section. As you can see, it shows up. This is because of the demo content. Let's add a title for it. So now we have a brand new section on our website. Now, let me show you how you can create services. We go to new, click on page, add the title, add some content, content if you need it. You must select the single service page template, and then if you want, add a featured image. Click on publish. And let's go back to the front end and see it. So, as you can see, our service displays. Let's add some more sections. Next section we are going to add will be the employees one. You can see all uh, front page widgets are marked with yellow. So let's get the employees. I have two employees at the moment, and I want to add one more. Again, we need to go to page, add the name, select the single employee template, set the featured image for it. And let's go back to the front end and we can see the new employee. Let's add the project section now. I already have some projects. I have seven projects. Let's add one more. It's basically the same thing. The difference is in the page template. So I'm just going to click on the single project page template. I'm going to also set a featured image. And here are my projects. Now let's go back. Let's say I want to make the projects full width. Just go here, remove the container. And the last section we're going to add is the clients section. So I have three clients. Obviously, I don't like how it looks, so I'm going to add a background image for it. Yeah, I'm just going to go to my media library. Copy the URL, go back to customize, 
you can reach it and go back to my clients widget which you can see right here so i'm going to go to styling expand it and in the background image url field i'm going to add the url and voila that's it